Slopeside living in Teton Village comes with a variety of accommodations choices. From the luxuries of Granite Ridge to the Four Seasons to my very own home here at the base of Rendezvous Mountain. Right here is uh, where the bedroom, where the main house is, uh, the TV, pretty much where I live. The rest of this is my yard. Uh, as we go through, my bathroom is here. I have hot tubs and showers here, here, and here. So we're here up uh, slope side, my luxury skid pad. Been living in this place for about two years now, since uh, Christmas of 2007. So it truly, really is ski in, ski out here uh, at the teepee on Pooh Bear. Got my very own chairlift here to get me up and down. Uh, only runs from nine to four on the weekends, but otherwise I just walk back up the hill and come home. So one of the challenges uh, with getting home at nighttime to my slope side accommodations are the wildlife. Occasionally, this moose and her, uh, her calf are frequently eating from above the top of my house. So this here is uh, my front yard and this is my backyard. I have a walk-in closet here. Uh, plenty of pairs of shoes on my shoe rack. Pretty much everything I own is right here and a little bit above it. Ski pants on, long johns, jacket, and uh, head up the hill. Oh, I forgot the zipper's broken. Need a new puffy. Take you to the bedroom. Let's go check it out. So most people's closets are right in their bedroom. Uh, unfortunately, I've got to walk a fair bit of ways from my, my closet to my bedroom, but uh, let's head up onto the snow and I'll show you the bedroom. I need crampons to get to my room tonight. Oh my goodness. Solid ice. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, bedroom's just over there in the trees. It's the main feature of the house and pretty much where I, where I live and spend uh, from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. every night. Uh, as you can see, there's a hole in the roof. So whenever it does snow, the snow comes right in. You know, most people, they have their bed in a certain part of the room and the bed sits there and they got a nice stand. I change my bed every day because I've yet to find uh, a way for me to lay down where it's not sloped and slanted. Um, generally, I roll off and fortunately it was warm today so all the snow is melted, but when it's really cold and the snow is frozen and you roll off your feet in the sleeping bag, get really, really wet. Pants on, socks on, I use the puffy coat here as a pillow. <sighs> Usually get about six hours of sleep in here. Um, groomers come between two and four most nights down here and shine the lights right in and wake me up. I'm out at 6, 6.30 uh, just before patrol gets on the mountain so they uh, don't notice me or I don't notice them. <laughs> daybreak. You gotta get up and get out of here before patrol gets on the mountain. Every morning I gotta take my sleeping bag uh, to my bathroom, my laundry room, and dry it out so it uh, doesn't get rotten for the next day. So when you gotta pee in the middle of the night, you just get out of your bed and go probably have a bathroom in your master bath, my skid pad, I gotta find the men's room, the closest men's room here in the Bridger Center. I do have a pretty large bathroom though, you know, most of you guys have what, just one stall in your house? Got three stalls, three urinals, five sinks. You know, maybe you have a his and hers sink, I got five. But uh, come down, put the wet sleeping bag, gotta dry it. I bet you don't have motion sensors in your bathroom. A few times I have been able to convince a girl to come back here. It's been way too cold to get naked. I try to tell them as soon as we're in the sleeping bag, it'll be fine, but they're really never willing to take their clothes off when it's minus 20. Yeah, there it is, my home. <laughs> 